tonight as we all live longer. Lots of people are going to grab hold of you and then we're going to roll you over onto your side. Can the emergency services cope with the results? Unless we plan ahead, we could be in the heading for crisis. Tonight our cameras are at Gateshead's Queen Elizabeth Hospital and with paramedic crews Graham Scott and Jill Hutchinson and Mark Glenn Corse and Paul Fell. They're on their way to a bizarre and worrying case. So we're just on our way to an RTA over in the centre of Gateshead at the minute. The only details that we have is that there's one person involved uh, and the person who called in didn't stop so we don't know if the patient's injured or trapped. Um, but we'll just head up there and find out what's going on. Rapid response is there. Oh, that's not a police car. Oh, concrete block. Still in. Hello there. Hello, sir. Just keep looking ahead for me one second. Okay, did your chest hit off the steering wheel or anything like that? Did you have your seatbelt on? I had, I had my seatbelt on, yeah. Okay. Did you just lose control? Um, oh, I misjudged the corner. And you, you it's eight o'clock at night now, but it's about to emerge that the man in the car accident is an 82-year-old who hasn't been seen since he left his home 160 miles away at eight o'clock this morning to go out shopping. Where are we off to? Newark. To where? Newark. Newark? Yeah. It's a canny drive. It's down south. Yeah, hi. Yeah. I'll just have a quick chat to the police, mate, before we get away. Yeah. See what we find out. So he's on the way to Newark? Yes, that's where the car's registered to. So is he from Newark? That's then? where they've just asked me to confirm he's from down there. Well, he's, well, I mean, it's a southern accent, but we asked him where he was going. He says he was going to Newark. Do you know where you are? No. no Do you know what area you, of, the, of the country you're in? You're, you're in Newcastle in time and where? When, when did you leave Newark? This morning. This morning. And where were you heading to? Uh, trying to think of the name of the place. He thinks he's in Nottinghamshire at the minute. Do you? Have you got a phone number? We'll give them a ring, see, the, see where you were meant to be. Hi, is that Jean? Hello, Jean. My, nothing to worry about. My name's Mark. I'm a paramedic from Newcastle. Um, from Newcastle, yes. We're with your husband at the moment who has had a little bump in his car. He's absolutely fine, but he's in Newcastle. He doesn't know why he's up here. He thought he was heading... So... It's all right. Do, do you have any idea why this... why he might be up here? Because he seems very confused. Is, is there any history of any dementia or Alzheimer's or anything like that? Or No. Well, we're, we're going to run him up to the hospital. He, he's absolutely fine. He's got no injuries whatsoever. He's just clipped a, a bollard with the corner of his car. Um, so we'll run him up because obviously it needs to be um, checked out as into why he's up here and everything. So he's, we're taking him to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Gateshead. I'm just going to pass you over to the policeman who's with us now just so he can ask you a couple of quick questions, all right? No problem. How are you, doing? you told Jean you were just going to the shops? She's worried he's sick. He's obviously had an accident. His car's not alright. Went for a pint of milk. Yes. Yeah. You don't think they would have realised he was away for a long time, right? Eh? She's. Uh, the, there's an instant number and a search going on down there. Ah, that's why then. Everson. I don't know if you want to let your colleagues know in New York, like, but she said the police are looking for him down there and stuff because he's missing. So. <laughs> At least you're all right. At least your wife knows where you are now. Um, 4324. Yeah. And how old does that make you now, Tony? 82. 82. Charming. You still got no idea what you're doing up here? Uh, not really. I was just on my way back, trying to find my way back to Newark. Right. Do no, you think you've done a runner, man? Do you think you've gone off with another woman? <laughs> so, after speaking to his wife on the phone, she's obviously been reassured that he's safe, he's uninjured. Um, she's already had the 
police out down there and they've been looking for them through the day. Um, so that's a mystery solved for them as well. Mm. And we'll just try and organise him getting looked after at night and then hopefully his family can come and take them back home tomorrow and get this further investigated because we're mm. kind of have you driving four or five hundred miles into the, into the distance again, can we? It turned out Mr. Everson had it's suffered a slight stroke and could recall nothing of his 160 mile drive. He's now back at home. Meanwhile, Dr. Patrick Disman is treating 75-year-old Janet McGinty, who's arrived feeling very confused. What?